Hey there guys, welcome to the video. My name is Pushpinder Gill and uh, in this video we're going to be talking about the laws of logarithms, right? So in the previous video you understood about the basics of logarithms. In this we're going to be talking about the laws of logarithms. Now let's suppose we have log of x to the base a is equal to b. Let's suppose we have this and we have another function that is log of y to the base a is equal to c. So this is actually going to be transformed to a to the power b is actually equal to x. This is going to be transformed to a to the power c is equal to y. Now as you know if I multiply x and y that is actually going to be equal to a to the power b times a to the power c which is actually going to be equal to a to the power b plus c. Now that means I can say that from here I can say that x y is equal to a to the power b plus c. If I take the logarithms uh, for this now, so the logarithm for this is actually going to be equal to log of base a, which is this, of xy is actually equal to b plus c. Fine. So that means if, and you know that b is equal to this, that is log of a to the base x and c is equal to this, that means log of a to the base y. Which means I can say that log of a of xy is actually equal to log of a to the base a, x to the base a plus log of y to the base a. So that is the first property of logarithms, the first law of logarithms, that log of xy to the base a is equal to log of x to the base a plus log of y to the base a. Now let's go ahead and use the same property for a different set of logarithms. So I can say that similar stuff, the both same stuff I'm taking, but if I want to do x over y, I will actually get to be equal to a over b over a over c, which is equal to a over b minus c, right? So that means I can say that if I, that is equal to x over y, which means if I take logarithm here, I'll have log of x over y to the base a, is equal to b minus c, right? So rewriting this equation again, I will have the second law of logarithms, that is log of a of x over y is actually equal to log of a, log of x to the base a plus log, sorry, minus log of y to the base a. So that is the second law of logarithms. Which, state that, which states that log of x over y to the base a is equal to log of x to the base a minus log of y to the base a. Now let's go ahead and talk about the third law of logarithms. So again I'm going to define a log of x to the base a is equal to b and log of x, log of y to the base a is equal to c. Now let's say we want to talk about uh, a to the power b to the power k, right? Which is actually going to be equal to a to the power bk. So if I use the logarithm here, I would actually be saying that uh, log of, so when you do the log, you actually do the log of this, uh, sorry. So, okay, let's make it much more simpler. Let, let's say that we have uh, b times b is actually equal to b square. So b times b is actually equal to b square. Now if I take logarithms on both sides, which I can do that, so this is going to be equal to log of b times b, which can actually be written as log of b plus log of b, because that's the multiplication rule that we've just learned, that is log of xy is log of x plus log of y. That is equal to log of b square. I'm assuming that the base is same. So log of b plus log of b can also be written as 2 times log of b, which is equal to log of b square, right? So similarly, similarly, if I have, let's suppose log, uh, I have b times b times b times b, that is, let's say, k times, that is actually equal to b to the power k. If I take logarithms on both sides, right, so I will have, uh, again, the same stuff, I'll have log of b plus log of b that will actually run k times, 
that will actually be equal to log of b to the power k. Now, if let's suppose I take it k times, so that is k times log of b is actually equal to log of b to the power k. So that this rule is actually known as the multiplication rule, right? So this rule is known as the multiplication rule, and uh, this rule was the division rule. I'm sorry, this is known as the power law, not the multiplication law, the power law. This is known as the division law and the first one is known as the multiplication law. You're going to be summarizing that, don't worry, right? But so I hope this whole thing is clear. Now, another thing is, uh, let's suppose if I want to define the log of 1 over x, right? So that will be equal to the log of x to the power minus 1. Using the power law, this minus 1 can actually go here, which will be equal to minus log of x. So that means I can say that log of 1 over x is equal to minus log x, something that will actually be very, very useful for you. And understand, the base is same in both the cases. Fine. So, I suppose you're understanding this. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to summarize all the laws. So, the first law is the multiplication law. So, what does the multiplication law state? So, the multiplication law states that a logarithm of x times y to the same base is equal to logarithm of x to the same base plus logarithm of y to the same base. Second is known as the division law. So, what is division law? That is actually equal to log of x over y to the base a is equal to log of x to the base a minus log of y to the base a. The third is known as the power law in which log of a to the power k is equal to k times log a. So this actually comes here. And the fourth one is actually going to be uh, a simple law that is log of 1 over x is equal to negative log of x. Fine. So suppose you're understanding this point over here, guys. Now, uh, let's actually pick up a question. Okay, let's pick up a question and see if we're able to solve that. Uh, let's suppose if we want to talk about the value of log of base 10, 3 minus 4 times logarithm of 10 of 1 by 2. Right, so let's suppose if I want to simplify that, that will actually be equal to log of 10 to the base 3 minus log of 10, 1 by 2. Now this 4 is actually going to come here raised to the power 4. So that will be equal to log of 3 divided by 1 by 2 raised to the power 4. So here I'm using the division law, right, that log of x minus log of y is log of x over y. And here I've actually used the power law, right, that uh, this 4 actually comes here. So this is going to be equal to log of 3 uh, times 2 to the power 4, which is going to be log of 10 of 48. So that is how I have simplified it. Fine. So I suppose you're understanding this point over here, guys. Uh, let's actually see uh, some similar questions, right. So let's suppose if we want to find... 3 to the power x is 20 and we need to find the value of x. So what we can do is we can actually take log on both sides. You, you, generally we take log of 10. So let's take the log of base 10 on the both sides. right? So if we do that, we're going to get 20 here. Now, uh, if we want to solve it further, right? what we can do is we can actually take the x outside, use the power law. So x log of 10 to the base 3 is actually equal to log of 10 to the base 20. So x is going to be equal to log of 10 of 20 divided by log of 10 of 3. Right? So we just need to solve this, put this in the calculator, which or use the or use the logs, log tables. This is what you're going to get, right? Which is going to be equal to 2.73. Right? So uh, I suppose you're understanding this point over here, guys. And uh, let's pick up another question. Let's suppose the question is that 5 to the power 2x uh, plus 7 into 5 to the power x minus 30 is 0. 
and we need to solve for x. So what we can do is we can actually say let's suppose y is equal to 5 to the power x. Then this term here would actually be y square. This term here would be 7 times y minus 30 is actually equal to 0. Now if we solve this quadratic equation which we're going to have y square. And we're going to split the middle terms which is going to be 10 times 3. That is 10y minus uh, 3y minus 30 is actually equal to 0. Then we're going to have y into y plus 10 minus 3 into y plus 10 is equal to 0. Then we're going to have y plus 10 times y minus 3 is equal to 0. So from here, y could actually be equal to negative 10 or y could actually be equal to 3. Which means if y could be equal to negative 10, that means uh, either 5 to the power x could actually be equal to negative 10 or 5 to the power x could actually be equal to 3. Now understand that this cannot be negative because positive number raised to the power anything can never give you a negative number. That's not true because if you look at these, this function, this function never goes negative. This function never goes beyond y axis, which means there cannot be a negative value. So we'll only use this value here. So if 5 to the power x is equal to 3, so what we can do is we can actually take log on both sides. So then we can actually take the x here. So x log of 5 is equal to log of 3, which means x is going to be equal to log of 3. We are actually taking base 10 only. Log of 3 divided by log of 5 and then you solve for x. So you actually put this in your calculator and you get your answer. So this, if I just put it in my calculator and I solve my answer, this is going to be approximately like 0 0.687. Right? So that is going to be my answer. In fact, it's 0 0.68. Okay? So I suppose you're understanding this point over here, guys. So thank you very much for watching this video. I suppose you understood all the laws of logarithms, which are very, very important for solving anything when it comes to logarithms. So this would be our website address that is perfect-course.com or Facebook page facebook.com slash perfect course and follow us on Twitter and other social media platforms and this would be our email address to give us your valuable feedback right and the next video we're going to be talking about uh, the base changing formula in which you would know how to change the base from one number to another number right so that is something that we will be talking about in the next video so thank you very much for watching this guys and I will see you in the next